Hello everybody, this is Derek and uh, I'm the creator of Kick the Can and also Flippy Bottle Extreme and I just like to walk you through our thought process in creating Kick the Can. Enjoy! Let me start off with what Kick the Can looks like in the end. So as you can see here, um, the title is Kicky Can here, but uh, in the final release, it's already uh, Kick the Can. So we changed the title, but uh, this is our working title when uh, we're developing the game. So this is what it looks like, and I just would like, like to walk you through how we reach this look. So I'd like to start off with our initial art style for it. So, all right, so as you all know, I am like a fan of vector art, so I'd like to always start off with the uh, really cool colors, bright. So this is the initial design of the chicken. So as you can see, it looks funny. It's sort of cool looking already. Uh, and uh, of course, when, when I was designing this, this uh, character, uh, I'd like to always make it look like it's unique and uh, it's, it's something that you can relate to. And of course, it's funny because uh, the, the game idea that I have is is uh, supposed to be like humorous. So I, I like it to be all that. So I, I try to explore some designs in, in uh, making this 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 guy. So the, the idea of the game is kicking. So I thought of what if we make the guy like a, a shoe so, or a boot, right? So I, I tried to explore it and uh, after like making a boot, um, I decided to what what if I try to put some eyes and some like uh, a beak on, on the character. So at the end, this is what I came up with. It's somewhat unique and somewhat weird in a sense, but I kind of like it. I kind of like that uh, it's it's unique and it's something that you haven't seen before. So yeah, it's just a product of just trial and error. So from here, you know, I worked out the colors and uh, it has something going on with the character, but uh, it's not enough. So I moved on to the next iteration. I added some eyebrows, you know, um, from based from the previous one. It's like his eyes are bulging out from from the uh, the, the face, and uh, you know, it lacks a bit of character. So I like to think it, it it's like the the character is like feeling stupid right now so I wanted to have some you know just just some more character to him so I added eyebrows and I make him look at you so as you can see from here I kind of already I'm feeling the guy even more it's like uh, I can like already talk to the guy which I like um, it's it's like uh, I already have a, a connection with the guy and uh, well first uh, just some like art uh, improvements uh, as you can see from the left side over here um, the, the the character already has a shadow <laughs> and uh, it's just something to add more depth to the character so this is like really flat and this has shadow so maybe for artists there maybe you notice that and uh, as you can see also from the from the th this part I don't know what it's called here <laughs> whatever um, I also added like uh, additional color there darker red so it can also pop out so just small changes but for me there are big differences in in affecting uh, how the character looks like so the character is really simple you know that there's not a lot a lot going on there but this, these are the characters that i like uh, i like characters that uh, explains a lot of things while having the the, the most minimal amount of uh, elements inside so you know i'm a fan of, of uh, like just being like super 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 minimalist all right so i i kind of like uh, adding the the eyebrow with this guy and he looks at you and like i already, already am like feeling that uh you know he's saying something to me like you suck or like what are you doing or like so something like this it's like the character already has connection with me that that's what i personally felt so i kind of like this look um it it uh, it connected to me and you know I, I'm trying to also explore like adding a shadow to the character so this is like a long shadow this is like a shadow that comes from from Google Play actually this is their like design language and uh, as you notice there's still like a, a gradient to the character uh, and I kind of like the look but uh, you know 
uh, I, I always like to explore and experiment. So I tried more stuff, you know, maybe darkening the shadow, maybe adding a ground just to, to give that uh, sense of depth uh, and, uh, you know, additional details to the scene. Um, it has something working for it, but I uh, didn't like it also. So I moved on, uh, tried adding like super gradient and, you know, I don't like it at all. Um, it's it's off uh, the all the the scene is like very sharp very edgy and you have this gradient at the middle it didn't appeal to me so i explored even more uh and i landed with this just having a circle plane <laughs> and i kind of like it um it's simple and it explains a lot of things and it gives like depth to the character because now you can explain this that the character is standing on something which is important because this is, you know, a kick the can game and we need to explain that there's a ground so you, you need to collide with the ground. So I kind of like this look. Um, it's simple and it explains uh, uh, the ground. But uh, I'm not still not over it, you know, so I still explore it. But um, just first, of course, uh, this is kick the can and uh, I work on the can and uh, I, I want to to make it as simple as possible also the shape is super simple and uh, I want to just emphasize on like putting the word kick so when, when I'm trying to design the, the the can I want the 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 action that you're gonna do with the can to be really apparent and I have seen a lot of like Google videos and uh, they have can that kick word on the can so i kind of like that that you know it's also familiar and uh, you can also explain what you need to do to the can uh and uh, from from afar you see that the character is like a boot and you see that the character the, the the can has a kick on it boot 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 and then can and then kick you know so it's pretty obvious that you need to kick the can without even knowing what the, the game is about so that's really important for me and uh, I kind of like that kind of design and I also added like shadow over here so they kind of fit together for me there's like a connection over there so uh, I didn't really explore a lot of can designs but I want to make it like apparent as, as possible and as you have noticed I also put a shadow in the left side so it uh, can it's unified with the design of uh, our chicken right so chicken already has a companion yes okay so I like the can I kept it and I improved further in the design and uh, now I need uh, a place to put the, the, the can so this part um, I also tried to explore several designs like for this one maybe like a dotted line because uh, if you're like in the street um sometimes you you draw something dotted and it also catches uh, attention and as you have noticed i already like put uh, some some elements like score and the uh, number of kicks and tries at the top so i can like visualize how it looks like so um as you can see here because of the shadow it it draws uh, an eye on the ground and this one also like you know you have a straight uh line here Right, and the, the look is, is simple, which I like, but it lacks that solid feeling of ground. Now that I put this one, so I need to, to make more improvements to it. So I also try like, maybe the, the point of view is like, you know, more like 2.5D and not like 3D. So I didn't like this design. It's like too cramped for me. So I, I, I kind of went, went back to having like a more 3D design. And as I mentioned, uh, the, the, the feeling of the ground that it, it's solid still lacks for me. So I added like, I tried to add like lines to it. So that just to, to show what the ground looks like, but um, still I didn't like it. it. It doesn't fit the whole theme. Uh, it's super minimalist. So it is like a stroke already. And, uh, the, the the characters doesn't have a stroke so for me i didn't feel that it's it's really fitting with the the theme that we have and also tried to already like put tries in it so uh as you have noticed like this is like the score and this is the tries 
and I try to put them together so you can easily understand that the the tries is uh, like based on what level you have right so that's what I'm trying to explore and as you have noticed also I changed the color of the number of stars right so it's just the minor changes over there and I'm also trying to explore what if I put a level mode as you have no as you know flippy bottle has several modes so maybe in kick the can i will also have new modes in the future just wait for those players out there right so next um yeah as i mentioned i didn't like the crown so now i did some more improvements right so we're now look lo looking at the maybe the near the, the the final design um so i like to make it really super super simple and as you have seen here, this is like just uh, just adding a box and adding a box here for like a 3D, like 2.5D effect. And I kind of like it. Um, it's 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 very easy to the eye. It's very, very simple. It gives like more depth. So um, I kind of like the design, but it's still like it's still lacking for me. Like this one, th this part is like uh, they're overlapping. So I need like to see more depth here. And as you can see, also I'm trying to explore. Maybe put the the, the 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 mode at the bottom, right? So that is also cool. And uh, as you have seen here, um, I'm also also playing around with the score uh, indicator. Uh, and uh, still, I'm not like convinced with the design. So I, I move further and try to improve. And uh, I remove the score and put uh, the the score the level back down again. And as you have seen here, uh, if you can see the shift, um, I added some like more dark colors over uh, this part. Because uh, uh, for me, uh, I need to add more depth to it and uh, I, I need to like explain what the foreground is from the background with, with putting them the most minimal amount of stuff possible. So yeah, th this kind of looks cool for me so this says that um like the light source is coming from the back and this front is like you know like the shadow and also has the same color as our shadow so it it, it gives you like, the sense of uh, of of lighting in the scene which gives it more depth which i really like so this kind of looks like more or less the final design and also added of course the tutorial and uh i also did uh, the the design for our rewards so for those who are playing kick the can look at the rewards um like our page uh follow our twitter you know just uh, get more more coins from from our rewards they're really cool right so i for, for this one um i thought of like making it unified with the design that we have here so as you can see here we have like a platform at the top and also a really 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 flat button um, box right so uh, I try to to make it similar to our design because uh, if you have seen also our other games some buttons are like rounded um, some buttons have uh, like like corners uh, at the upper right and uh, lower le left on in, in the the edges of the, the button here it doesn't have that um, it's just plain box to fit the aesthetic i like it it's simple easy to the eye uh, and uh, this is more or less the the final look of the game and it leads back to our final look which is this one and uh, you know it's it's simple it's uh, it's unique enough um it explains a lot of things that i need to explain that uh, the chicken needs to kick the can and you know th th there's uh, a lot of things going on um there's i i, I tell you there's there are more things that uh, have went through this the, the design of of uh this but uh this is more or less the overview of how it happened and i hope from our walkthrough you can see that uh, uh designing uh kick, kick the can is not so simple uh, but uh you know as you can see i have fun with it and hopefully with that uh, you can see that uh, the game that we make are more valuable uh, because of course uh, we like to entertain our most played fans our most played games fans and uh, we won't have we won't 
be able to do the things that we do without you right so i'd like to thank you and hopefully from this presentation from what i have shown you you know you fell in fall in love with uh, our games even more right so this is derek uh, the creator of kick the can and also flippy bottle extreme i hope you had fun with the video and let us know down below if you like more videos like this um maybe for flippy bottle in the future right and uh, let me let us know down below uh if you have more suggestions uh and uh if you have like suggestions on how to to improve this video and uh please subscribe uh like our page uh most played mobile in facebook and uh, keep watching our videos and keep playing our games right bye